what is going on guys raging cajun back here with another video for you tonight tonight's video is gonna feature uh, a product review product i think you should never buy it's a product that i bought that i regret buying i'll never buy it again um kind of different video so we'll get right down to it i'm gonna give me a second i'm going to uh get the camera position point it down to my desk and I'll show you what we got all right give me one second ladies and gentlemen all righty guys yeah, y'all probably guessed it. It is the Pittsburgh half inch extendable ratchet. This thing is the biggest piece of junk I've ever bought. <clears throat> they don't use they don't use the whole handle with the uh, with, with the with the undercoating with the metal. They only use half of the hand, handle, as y'all can see. Yes, this product is only like $20 at Harbor Freight. Now, am I saying Harbor Freight? All ratchets at Harbor Freight are bad. No, I am not. I have a bunch more of Harbor Freight ratchets. They're actually pretty decent for the money. But this one right here, I would never advise getting. It's a, it, a normal, the normal size of it is 12 inches, but it extends up to 18 inches. The heads on them are completely garbage. Don't buy this ratchet, folks. Don't waste your money on it. I mean, the springs in them are, are garbage. That's a little bitty spring. Let's see if I can get y'all closer to my table here. It's not very thick for the for the handle steel. The grip are, the grips are not bad. The grips are actually pretty good. They're TPR grips. I think they come out of India. <coughs> if I'm not mistaken. A lot of companies make these grips. But even a short drop on the ground busted that in half. So I don't know what kind of stuff the Harbor Freight's trying to pull with these ratchets, but do not invest in them. Don't buy them. Leave them at Harbor Freight where they belong. That's the teeth on them that come in your inside your ratchet head. Not very big. They're thin. They're thin walled. I'll never buy another one of these things again. That's the, this is the mechanism right here that controls the left and right of your ratchet. It's not very good. Not very good at all. This ratchet right here, I'm getting ready to show you where it belongs. I have a scrap metal bin. This ratchet right here belongs in the bin. Don't waste your money on it, folks. There's other alternatives I'm getting ready to show you. From cheap alternatives to high-end alternatives. Okay? Now, again... I do buy a lot of Harbor Freight tools. As you can see, I do have another half inch ratchet. Flex head ratchet from Harbor Freight. This one's not bad. This one's actually a pretty decent ratchet. It's made a lot, it's made a lot better than that one that I just showed you. Okay. I believe this one's like twenty to twenty five dollars at Harbor Freight. You might be able to find a coupon out there for five dollars off all the Pittsburgh Pro stuff. 
Uh, second option is that you can get it at Home Depot, the Gear Wrench 90 Tooth. Part number is 81303T. It is a 90 tooth, half inch. I believe it's 12 inches long. It's a really, it's another good really ratchet. It's another really good ratchet. I think these will run you like 40 to 50 dollars at at uh, Home Depot. I would highly advise getting it. That is the second ratchet I would advise getting. <clears throat> now, if you want to go a little bit of a longer ratchet and a half inch uh, ratchet head, the Gear Wrench. 120 XP half inch flex head. This is another really good ratchet. I would highly advise it. It's not a bad ratchet at all. It's a really good ratchet. Now, this is for tool truck brands. I would highly advise them. I have been using the hell out of this ratchet for the past couple days and it hasn't failed me. I've broken loose a whole bunch of stuff. Because I'm currently uh, working on my silver rod on putting all new brakes on it. It is the snap on half inch flex head with the reverse switch in the back. Part number on this. Which I don't know if snap on the snap on truck still carries it. 831 S 83 L USA. I am thankful I have this ratchet. It is a really good ratchet. All these ratchets right here are good comparables to that better comparables to that 18 inch extendable or a 12 inch extendable Pittsburgh ratchet that you would get from Harbor Freight yeah that ratchet was only $20 <laughs> but would I buy it again no uh -uh. <clears throat> as you can see I do have another Pittsburgh Ratchet. Am I saying Pittsburgh ratchets are bad? No, I am not. But that one, that rat, that ratchet is. All these ratchets are non-quick release. None of them have the quick release uh, switch on them. I'll show you my ratchet drawer. Just give me a second. Turn the camera around and get you pointed down to the drawer show you guys what exactly ratchets I have as y'all can see I do have more Pittsburgh not all Pittsburgh is garbage but you do have to watch what you buy I can understand if you're if you're on a budget buying tools hey these are good options <clears throat> That's half inch too. I'm not telling you what to buy. I'm telling. I'm trying to give you a heads up on what not to buy. And that 12 inch that extends up to 18 inch uh, ratchet is garbage. Don't don't even don't even waste your money on it. I've also got the 3 inch in that that same half inch that 90 tooth ratchet. I've got the little snap on. I mean, you've got a lot of alternatives out there than what Harbor Freight has. Harbor Freight is not a bad brand. They don't have bad brands in their in their store. <coughs> but I would not waste my money on that ratchet again. I just won't. I am a home DIYer. I don't do this for a living. So, yeah.
All right, guys. Just remember, I'm like every, I'm like a lot of people out there. I do my own work at home. I'm not a professional mechanic, but I do a, know a little something about tools because I do my research on everything I buy. I didn't do the research on that ratchet because I was walking through Harbor Freight and I wanted to try it out. I thought it might be a good ratchet. Mm -mm. I'll never buy it again. <clears throat> but, like I showed you, there's other alternatives to Harbor Freight to help you save money in the long run. Yes, the all other alternatives are probably somewhat more expensive but you're saving money in the long run I don't know about the lifetime warranty on it I didn't even bother about checking about the lifetime warranty on that thing I just threw it in the garbage I don't even want to deal with it no more it'll go to the metal place for recycling and be crushed but be weary about stuff that you buy at this time, folks. Yes, Harbor Freight is, they do sell some good stuff. Not all stuff at Harbor Freight is, is good, though. Do your research on stuff you buy before you buy it. But that's all I got for this one. Remember, guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring that bell because you never know when the next one's coming out. I do thank you for watching. But this is the Raging Cajun. Keep your wheels spinning and your beavers grinning. And I will catch you on the next one. Good night.